What is going on, y'all? This is SK13. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone had a happy holiday time period. I know we got some holidays coming up too, so very excited for that. And yeah, as you could tell from that clip in the beginning of the video and obviously from the title of the video, it finally happened, guys. I've had my I've had my first reliability issue with the Aprilia RS660. It finally happened. Well, to kind of give you guys some backstory as to kind of how this occurred and you know what the issue really is. I know you can't really tell much from the initial clip itself, but I was riding, it's like any other normal day. The bike was all warmed up. I was showing a friend of mine what the CRT <laughs> exhaust sounds like. So obviously I was doing a few few rev bombs for him, right? Making the, the flame split up. Oh, sorry, can't talk today. The flame spit um, out of the exhaust and everything like that. And so, yeah, pretty normal. Bike was warmed up, no issues then. Bike was getting pretty low on gas. So then I went to the gas station. I filled up on gas and after I filled up, I started riding again and I was in first gear. I went from first, uh, I tried to go up to second uh, with the clutch, worked perfectly fine, no issues. But then when I tried to use the quick shifter to go from second to third, that's where this issue came up. And then I looked down, I started seeing this flashing red light with the R, um, it's blinking. Usually, you know, if the quick shifter is, you know, I guess, quote unquote, not active, it generally pops up as a orange, um, like a, I don't even know how to describe, it's like a gear. And that icon pops up in orange and that tells you, and that usually happens from first uh, to second, or even when you're at low RPMs, and it tells you that the quick shifter is not active, meaning you know you shouldn't be using it because the revs are too low, you're too low, and so that is what I'm accustomed to seeing. This was something different though. This was a red R and it's blinking. And so when I try to use a quick shifter from second to third, it would not budge at all. And usually, you know, on non quick shifter bikes, if you kind of time the revs right, you can still forcefully push it up. I tried to do that a little bit. I thought initially maybe I'm not applying enough force, but you know, obviously I didn't want to push it too hard and risk, you know, breaking something and causing the issue to get worse. So to try to fix it, what I did was I, you know, pulled over, I turned the bike off let it sit for a minute, and then turn it back on again. The issue was still there. At this point, you know, I could still ride the bike fine. I could still manually shift into gear. Um, so basically like the quick shifter is non-existent, right? I could still ride the bike perfectly fine. It's just the quick shifter itself was not working. So at this point, I kind of figured this is probably not a mechanical thing or issue just because I can still manually get into the gears, I can manually downshift, upshift, no issues there just by using the, using the clutch like you normally would on any other bike. So I kind of figured perhaps this is more of an electronic issue. So I'm still not sure you know, what is going on. I rode the bike home and I looked at you know the gear shifter, uh, levers and everything like that where the quick shifter is sitting just to see if there's anything that I can spot that may be physically wrong with it but yeah everything looked normal so I figured if it's an electronic thing maybe I should just let it sit for like an hour or two off so I parked it in my garage I turned it off um, I left went about my day like normal came back out like I think maybe two three hours later tried turning it back on and the issue was still there so yeah that's where we're at now 
the bike is currently parked in the garage. I'm not riding it. Um, I have to try to figure out, you know, what is going on with this? Is this something that, you know, occurs or has occurred for other people? Or, you know, what, what's really going on with this? And is worst case scenario, am I going to have to go to the dealer to get this switched out via a warranty? Or, you know, you have to use the warranty. And if that is the case, we'll see. Because I'm kind of worried about, you know, now that I have the CRT, what are they going to say about that? Um, the tune, whatnot. So just some thoughts that I've been having. But for now, bike is parked in the garage. I'm doing this voiceover with some of the old footage that you guys saw from my previous video. But yeah, really got to figure this out, what's going on. But for you guys out there that have an R660 or have had bikes with quick shifters before, has this ever happened to you guys? Um, if it has, or if you know someone that has encountered this issue before, definitely comment down below. Let me know your thoughts so that you know we can figure out what's going on together. We'll be reaching out to you know checking out the forums and seeing you know what's on there, maybe on Reddit, uh, other YouTube videos, and seeing if people have posted videos about this or have had this issue before. But yeah, just wanted to share my first <laughs> reliability issue with you guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, I mean, it is an unfortunate situation, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I know, I knew what I was getting into and yeah, I'm just glad it's not like a manual or physical issue. At least I can still the ride, I could still ride the bike fine. It's just, you know, it's a little disappointing, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, um, extended this video long enough. Just wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, thumbs if you enjoyed it, subs if you loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully we have this issue fixed by then. Bye. Peace.